Hey guys, Joshua Danger here, and this is another, uh, well, I should say, this is my first video of things to know about PC versus console. Um, So, I'll be right with you guys in a second. Um, And I'm going to send out a few few um video invites um so bear with me guys um hey 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 how's everybody doing um So bear with me, guys. I'll be right with you. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so, hey, 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 how's everybody doing? So, bear with me, guys. Um, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so that being said, um, I appreciate everybody that's popped on here so far. Um, so PC versus uh, console, um, things you should know. Um, the console war is heating up, obviously, um, to where it's actually catching up with PC culture, um, which, mind you, um, that's the one thing that everybody is actually saying, like, this generation's consoles, aka the Xbox Series X, Xbox, or PS5, are slowly catching up to what PCs are doing, because basically, PC companies have actually been making um, chips for them that are so advanced. Um, so advanced that basically you could catch up with no problem whatsoever. Um, but right now, and at a price point that is so much less than a PC. Um, when I built my PC, I, I think I spent maybe $1,200 on everything. And, you know, and even with a few up, like I, I had a couple of upgrades early. Um, I had a CPU, uh, CPU cooler put on, um, or an AIO, um, which actually does help keep my temperatures on my CPU really, really down. Um, instead of being really, really fast or being really, really hot. Um, one of the positives I could take away from it. Um, I, I paid roughly 60 bucks for that. 
or no, I paid 45 bucks for that and three fans. Um, from a guy I work with, his name's Nick Nickerson. Um, which I'm just giving him that nickname because I don't want to give his actual real name out, even though his first name is Joe. Um, but, um, and I did buy a CPU from him for 200 bucks, which at the time the price point was actually high on it. Let's just say that one. I, I switched from a 1600, uh, a Ryzen 5 1600 to a freaking Ryzen 5 3600X, which is massively better. Um, like it has, um, it's, it's like 2.4 gigahertz faster all around. Um, because it runs at 3.8 gigahertz instead of 3.4. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I said, I, I was willing to put the money into it just to see if I was actually going to get into it, which obviously I, I actually like PC gaming more so now um, because of games like uh, Flight Simulator. Um, let me go through the list of games that I have and 5M obviously being one of the bigger deals. Um, Left 4 Dead, which you can pretty much buy those on console, but... Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. I, I bought those because I, I'm a fan of those. And like I said, I play them on PC. Um, but there's games that you can't buy on console. Um, take, for example, American Truck Simulator. You can't buy that on console. A Euro Truck Simulator. You can't buy that on console. Um Flight Simulator, that's just coming out for Xbox Series X, um, even though it's on Game Pass. Um, <clears throat> um, let's see, what else? Um, because I do have more games than that. Um, the other thing is you can't do mods, uh, and Among Us being another one. That's a big game on PC. Um, but I didn't buy my console to just play games. I wanted something that I could stream regularly with too, which like I said, game streaming is one of my big things that I do like to do. Um, but the other thing is I I'm, I'm, I'm huge on to like, the 5M community, like I, I'm starting to fall in love with the 5M stuff because uh, because of the role play stuff that's actually going on there, um, which is absolutely awesome. Um, because, like I said, I, I've gotten into role playing a little bit here and there, um, but. Also, the thing I love about, oh, I should say Firefighting Simulator uh, is another game that you can't get on console. Um, but at the end of the day, there's there's games that you can't get on console that you can get on PC. Um, Postal being another one. Um, but there's a lot of games that do come with the territory. Like, you could get your Wreckfest. You can get your Red Dead Redemptions. You could get your Grand Theft Autos. You could get all of your console-based games right here on the PC, and sometimes even for less money. Um, but when you look at console, there's a, there's a lot of things that you can do on console that you can't do on PC. Um But there's a lot of things you can't do on PC either. Um, or there's a lot of things you can't do on console either. Um, so at the end of the day, everything that I'm, I'm going to throw at you, um, 
you've got to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, you're going to pay more to have your PC at the end of the day, but you're getting more out of it than you are with just a console. Um, you're getting a streaming machine that can actually be used for internet use, gaming use, um, uh, video editing use, um, streaming use which you don't really get with um, console because you can't really just hook up any um, microphone or um, webcam. You really can't do that um, and get the same aspect. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of things you can do with PC that you can't do with console. Uh, consoles are great for streaming stuff or watching streams. And watching your movies, watching your TV series, that you really don't get that full blown experience with PC. But the downside of that is you've got to make room for everything that you have on your PC. So that's why I have a two terabyte hard drive that I, I do game with. Um, that I put all my games and shit on. And I have a backup. I basically have a 500 gig NVMe hard drive. That actually helps out. Um, at the end of the day, consoles are going to do what consoles are going to do. Because that's what they're paid to do. Um, hey, DJ Zombie. Hey, Vince. How you doing? Hey, LimeWire. I'm not using your software, LimeWire. Sorry. So, basically, everything you can do on a PC, you can do. You can do a little bit here and there. Um... Consoles, consoles are great for playing video games and watching um, YouTube, watching Netflix. Basically, it's it's basically the same. Or consoles are basically the same thing that they were when, um, except a little bit more different. Your Xbox, your original Xboxes, and your um, and your PS twos. They're good for playing games and they're good for um for watching stuff. Um that's that's the one thing that's actually gotten better through time. Um is you don't have to rely on having everything that you would actually have, which this you really don't PCs you really don't need everything that you do for but there's so much more out there than there was 20 years ago when the PS2 came out and the Xbox came out. Um, there's so much more out there. You don't have to rely on physical media anymore. And I, I think that's the positive side of P PC gaming. Um, that's definitely the positive side of PC gaming. Um, you have so much more options on what you can do to stream um, your stuff. And you can always upgrade. That's one of the biggest things I can actually say about that. Um, everything you do, you can upgrade on a PC. You can't upgrade much on a console except for memory use. Or I should say... Um, 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 hard drive. You really can't do anything about that. Um, that's the other thing. Um, you can upgrade everything in your PC. Yeah, it's going to cost more money. Um, right now, if you if you go in and you look at what everything is selling for now, the computer I have right now would cost you eighteen hundred dollars, which. It would literally cost you $1,800 um, 
to build, if not 2,000. Um, the, the price of my GPU, my graphics card, um, I paid, I want to say 179 or two, uh, it was either 179 or 219. I can't remember. Like, I want to say it was in that $200 budget, but I could be wrong. Um, now it's selling for about 600 bucks used. Um, my processor is selling for about $300 used or $300 new, which Um, every, the parts that you're buying are going up in price. Ram's not going up in price. That's staying roughly about the same. Um, maybe a few dollars higher. Um, not by much. Um, hard drives are staying about the same because it's, it's basically, but it's the key component parts like the CPU, that's gonna cost you. That's gonna cost you more. Like um, when I bought the sixteen hundred AF, the original price of it. What well, if I would have bought it back in March? I probably would have only paid eighty five bucks for it. And now it's up to like two hundred dollars. So um, almost two hundred dollars. So it's actually like a hundred dollars higher than what it was. When it originally came out, I paid one twenty five for mine. But at the end of the day, I also said, you know, I I wanted to play Flight Simulator, and that is one game that is actually fucking expansive, and is a is a hitter on everything, um, everything that you do, um. That's the other thing that you can't do on console. You can actually do. You can actually do. Um, you can't upgrade your graphics on a console. That that's one of the things that you could set your benchmarks really super high and on PC and depending on how how great your PC is. You can actually build around that and basically say, oh, you know, I've got an eight gigabyte graphics card, which absolutely great. Uh, running on a 165 hertz monitor. Um, which, like I said, um, a 1080p monitor. So basically everything I'm running is in 1080p. Oh, so full high def. Um you really can't you really can't turn any of that away um that's the other thing um like games like GTA you can run on high on a PC if you spend more money on it um and get decent frame rates which like I said I I get roughly a hundred get or a hundred a hundred gigs <laughs> wrong um I, I get between 100 frames per 100 frames per second at all times, um, depending on if I'm using mods or not. Um, American Truck Simulator, if I'm using mods, I can actually get between 100 and 130 FPS. Um, you most of the time, if you're using a console, um. If you're using a console, you're probably only getting maybe 50 FPS, if not 60 at most, because they don't want they don't run like that. Um, they don't run FPS counters like PC does. Um, and that's why last gen consoles are kind of falling apart. Um at the end of the day. So um And only run so damn fast. Um, and can only process so much shit so fast. Um, so. That's a little bit to know about PC. Yeah, consoles like 
sometimes the games are actually more affordable because you can actually get physical media. Um, physical media is relatively cheap if you know how to get it. Um, but it's also getting to the point where it's getting obscure too, which a lot of companies are basically saying, you know, we're not in the business of physical media anymore because physical media is costing us money. Um, and that's why a lot of e-commerce deals are happening. You can go on Xbox Live and just go buy, or go on the Microsoft Store and buy games. Just like you could buy them on Steam. Um, that That's another big thing about PC and console. You can buy all your media for through a web store. So at the end of the day, what I'm actually saying is you get what you pay for with PC against what you get for console. If you only have enough money for a console, that's perfectly fine and dandy, especially being that we're living in a day and age now with the Xbox Series X, PS5, um, that are actually slowly catching up to PC um, for right around four or five hundred bucks, between three and five hundred bucks, because the Xbox Series S, three hundred bucks, Xbox One X, five hundred bucks, PS5 All Digital, four hundred bucks, PS5 uh, Standard, five hundred bucks. Um, So, basically, and it's almost as good as a computer nowadays. Um, so, you can't go wrong with either. So, pretty much, I'm not here to shame either because I am a, I, I am a fan of both. And I, I grew up a console kid. And, you know, everybody always said, you know, PCs were, PCs are always going to be greater than console because you're you're going to get what you pay for with it. And it's it's so much more true. But at the end of the day, you can't go wrong with either. So what you choose is what you pretty much get. And it's as good if and it's as or it's as close as possible as it could ever get. Especially nowadays with the buying market being so fucking weird. Um, that's the one thing I can actually say. The buying market is absolute trash right now for PC because you can't touch a you can't touch a graphics card for less than six hundred bucks. And even the great ones, you're gonna pay at least a thousand dollars for. Because there, there's a shortage out there, and basically they're basically saying, you know what, we're we're gonna hold all this back because American culture and you know isn't working well with the other countries right now. So basically they're like, oh, you know, since you actually put a tariff on us, guess what? We have all the right to say, oh, we could limit what what we give you. So pretty much that's the other thing. Right now is a bad time to be in the PC building um, because it's going to cost you a fucking fortune. And even when you do get those cards, when you do get your parts, most of the time it's... um um, 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 um Guys that are actually coming up with um, Bitcoin and um, 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 God, what is that shit called? Um, it's things like that. Um, or crypto mining. People are crypto mining all the damn time. Um, and that's why everything there is a shortage out there of everything for PC because 
Those crypto miners are getting those before anybody. Before anybody. Um, but before the gamers get shit. Um, but I, I'm not going to try to rant on this too much more. Um, actually, I'm about to get off here. So I want to say thank you guys for actually popping on and actually hanging out with me tonight or today. My bad, guys. Um, so that that's pretty much my my take on the first episode of PC versus console. Um, which don't get me wrong, there are games out there for console that you can't get for PC yet. Um, like it took PlayStation almost a year to get Death Stranding out there. For PC, um, do I think do I think um, PlayStation's going to give up the rights to God of War to PC? Fuck no, I don't. Absolutely not. But could it happen? Yes, it could. But at the end of the day, everybody, um, you get what you pay for with either, um, and it's a great choice to have either so i hope this actually helps you do something constructive and possibly think about what you're gonna do with um whether building a pc or going console buying um just take in effect what we're bringing to the table and what we throw out there which, like I said, I'm slowly turning into the I'm slowly turning into the PC race, but I'm not letting my console roots die either. So, um, and if you guys actually want to see me stream on Twitch or even here, I could stream. I could game stream here more often than not. Um, so if you guys actually want me to start streaming more on here and less on Twitch, uh, please hit me up in the comments down below. It's greatly appreciated. And I love you guys. And me and Batgirl, we definitely appreciate everything that you guys bring to our table. Um, even if we're not getting paid for this, um, we appreciate everything that every one of you guys do for us. And I want to say namaste, everybody, and live life <laughs> to the fullest. But don't be dangerous or reckless either, even though that's my slogan. Um, don't be reckless, but live dangerously, somewhat dangerously. So that being said, guys, I'm going to get off here. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. I'm out. And have a great day, everybody.